Do a small exercise with shape twin. HD size, 25 frame per second. Okay, I have a new page, okay? Now, making a candle. Before the candle, I wanna make a background. If the background I'm changing, the color from the background color I'm changing to black. Okay. Top of this layer, uh, we have only one layer now. The background color is that, okay? So I have a candle I'm making. Now fight a little bit. See here, I want to individually need to scratch it here. So just do selection like that. Selection. This side. Okay, the side view. And we want to do this way. So this is on the same layer, so you have to do it. Ensure this size, everything is okay. Because once you press enter, then you cannot change it because this is on the same place. So little bit is okay, can manage. Right. I can do more detail in the gradient again inside. I'm not doing much detail over there. Uh, here we are creating the color should be gray color. Straight line. Now the flames I'm doing on top of it, flame, because flame is going to animate, right? No need stroke. And we're going to create here. You can lock it, original one. Uh, the, the candle, I lock it. Do not edit this more, okay? I mean, do not try here and there because we need to animate this. The color, we choose a gradient color. Gradient color. But the gradient I need, not this way. I can click on this circle then, or this way. You can scale it. Then in the property, property means color property. Choose from here, I do actually not blue, uh, but I do in the last area one blue and one yellow. Yellow. Sorry, orange, we did it. And here is the yellow color. We need a uh, light blue on. Okay. Now we need to animate this. How are we going to animate? This one, anyhow, candle till here F5, you give it. And the flame, he, this is already break apart, we have done because this, this is a normal object, you can control. 
If any object which is there, which you cannot control like that, you need to press break apart. From here itself, I'm doing right click and shape twin from here itself. So whenever I press F6, automatically the line will come because from the first frame itself, I have given shape twin, okay? And I go here, F6, 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 F6. Randomly, of course, this, it won't happen. F5, right? And I go to here, I do some changes. See, it's very careful when you do, you have to do slowly, slowly only. Don't do big changes. Big changes will make you mistake. So, next one is on the straight is okay. And here, till here, fine. See, do not do like that. See, this side, try. So, be careful each and every time. After doing one changes, you need to play and check it's correct or not. See, the error comes, right? So control Z till here, okay? Can you do this slowly? So there is a limit. If you do more than that, there is a chance to get error. Control enter. The speed you feel like somewhere, the animation feel like it's not good, you can change. That ambient we need to feel, the candle ambient. So I create one more layer. In this layer is ground. In this ground, I'm creating a new, we can choose maybe a rectangle. We will see with oval shapes. This is a radial, okay? And this radial shape, we choose from here, gradient tool and change the shape similar as Can it just like this, make smaller. When you deal with this one, you will understand it. Right, then go to gradient color here. I need here, yellow color. But how much you need, you can decide from here. Like for example, I want to keep something. See, if I keep, I can drag and drop down also. You want to keep like that. Here, I want to keep two, two, three sessions. This color. This is okay. Sorry. And this color. Yellow only. Yellow color only. Okay. This one I'm keeping below the cantle. So we got like this. Now I selected this. I can transform this and keep this one center and transform this way. Now, you see, uh, there is only a ground now. So this frame you keep on the end, F6. Right click, shape twin. Wherever you move your flame, same place everywhere you're going to press, F6. Wherever you move your flames, everywhere you're gonna click, F6. First, this is here now. Go to the second one, take your 
gradient transform tool. Just move this one a little bit this side. Okay. Go here, select this one, straight only. Here, you see the flame where it goes to this side. Here, flame move to this side. You need to click, then only it comes, okay? Straight, wherever straight is it, do not move because it's already in the straight. So what happened? The changes also you're getting, right? Now I go to somewhere over here, gradient. Some places, maybe in this positions, there is alpha. I can make less this alpha. So the brightness is decreasing. Alpha actually transference, can you see? Decreasing. Some random here and there. So go here, select it, alpha less. So when it reaches you, less than again increase, you see, of course, it will randomly happen this one. So randomly, I'm giving also some changes here. I'm getting better result. This is our final result. You see that when it is sometimes that light dimming also and animation also working. I don't have any backgrounds. If I have some background, you need to do the same gradient option on top of that, there also need to move it. So it's better you do it in a black color and you'll get it similar kind of. So it's a very good example for shape team.